All right, on this Texas Speed Tech Tip Tuesday, we're gonna show you how to degree a camshaft at home. So first thing we've done is this is right after we put the cam in, we're dot to dot right now. So that means this number one piston is at top dead center. So I just kind of eyeballed it, set my indicator to zero to get a base point for where we're going. I've also set this indicator at a zero to get going as well. So basically this is a game of averages. So I'm actually gonna back it up a little bit and I'm gonna aim for about 10 thousandths before the mark. And I'm gonna look at my reading right there. It's reading about four degrees on my timing wheel. So now I'm gonna go after, I'm gonna go 10 thousandths after the peak also. I went a little past there, so I'm gonna back it up. And I'm reading about six and a half there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna split the difference. I'm gonna move it closer to five. And I'm gonna do it again. Right there, in about five and a half. I'm um, five and a half. That means I'm perfectly on top dead center because we're just taking the split of the numbers, make sure it's the same on either side. So we went ahead and changed our setup here to the cam lobe. So I just put a lifter bucket in here with a, a lifter and then a push rod in here set up with the indicator. This works best if you have a used bucket lying around or else the, the lifter will try to hang up in the bucket. Um, so I'm just gonna go around and I'm gonna just look at the peak lift real quick. I'm just gonna set my gauge up for the peak lift just, get, just to get me close. And then once again, we're going to back it up a little bit. And this one does still hold the lifter quite a bit, so I'm going to help it back down a little bit. And this is going to be the same principle as before, to where I'm going to go 10 thousandths before the peak and record it. So right there, we're looking at about 91. I'm going to go ahead and get my phone out and throw that in my calculator so I don't forget it. Now I'm going to go for 10 after. I'm probably going to have to help it out here. It's right there. Looking about 120, 126 and a half. So we're gonna add those two together and divide it by two. That's gonna get us our number. So it says 108.75. I'm gonna grab my cam card right here. We're gonna look, this is a Torker V4 camshaft. And the number we're looking for here is intake center line. That's what we just measured, it's 109. So we're only a quarter degree off, which is absolutely fantastic for this setup using stock components, non-adjustable components. It's absolutely dead on.